Cleveland, Ohio scribbles in my Cleveland Cavaliers four-game losing streak notebook one. Tyrone Liu keeps saying the Cavs need to play with pace. That's NBA lingo for running, playing faster. But is that best for what is the oldest team in the NBA too? Let's go to the numbers. The NBA has a stat called pace. It measures how fast you play. This season, the Cavs rank a rather respectable 14th out of 30 teams, 3. Here is how they ranked in pace in the previous three years with LeBron James 15th 201,617, 28th 201,516 and 25th 201,415. 4. There's the data. The fact is the Cavs are running more this season than any of the previous three years. And they are often being run right off the court. The Cavs are allowing 113.6 points a game, the most in the NBA. 5. I can bury you and the Cavs with stats but watching part of a few recent games reveals the Cavs have been awful defensively. 6. Lou keeps saying the Cavs need to get in better shape. Question who is supposed to make that happen I sent that up to the coach 7. If the Cavs aren't in shape to play at the pace Lou would prefer, perhaps they aren't suited to play that pace. When Lou had Kiri Irving, he called Irving the attack guard. That's because he wanted Irving to push the pace, drive hard to the rim. 8. Irving is gone. And much to my surprise, Boston is 62. That's impressive. The Celtics traded Jay Crowder, Avery Bradley and Isaiah Thomas. Gordon Hayward broke his leg in the opener against the Cavs. They have only five players and two starters left from a year ago. 9. The Cavs have been embarrassingly slow getting back on defense. But even worse, their defense against the pick-and-roll play has been horrible. This is a veteran team. They should know how to defend the pick-and-roll. Some of this has to fall on Lou and his defensive schemes. 10. The Cavs' defense will take an even bigger hit with Tristan Thompson out for about a month with a calf injury. He is the only shot-blocking threat on the team. 11. Some nights, it's been painful to watch Dwayne Wade play. He is averaging 7.7 .7 points, shooting .414 from the field in 22 minutes a game. I'm not writing him off. But he seems lost and slow in some games. 12. Entering Friday night, the Cavs have lost their last three games by at least 15 points. According to ESPN, that HASNT happened to LeBron James since his rookie season 200,304, 13. James is averaging 25.6 points, 8.9 assists, 7.3 rebounds and shooting .594 from the field. Very hard to complain about him. His defense has been iffy. He admits he's not in ideal shape. He did miss three weeks of training camp with the worst ankle injury of his career, 14. One way the defense will improve is if James sets the tone. He is the leader, and this is asking even more from him. 15. No clue what is up with Kevin Love. He is averaging 18.4 points and 11.5 rebounds. But he's shooting only .415 from the field, .336 on three-pointers. His jumper is off in a liner, 16. I started to write Love Dose and look comfortable in the offense. But that is true of Wade and nearly everyone else in a Cavs uniform. J.R. Smith is averaging only 5.5 points, shooting .271.195 on three-pointers. He seems lost, 17. The same is true of Jay Crowder, who has been very tentative. Maybe Crowder and the others will play better once Isaiah Thomas returns in January from his hip injury, 18. But for now, the Cavs are a real mess. And I'm not sure Lou is helping the situation by pushing the team to play at a quicker pace.